Hey Capricorns, my garden babes. Welcome back to Oshun's Tarot Garden. Today we're going to see what Spirit wants to tell you about this week, what insight we have. But before we jump into that, I am going to pull you guys some affirmative guidance cards just to give you a little motivation and insight for this week that we are going into. Okay? All right. So Capricorn, the first card that I have for you says balance. Slow down, lighten your load so you can float. Some of you guys could be doing a lot. And when I see this, I think about, it says so you can float. I feel like you might be trying to do too much. And I'm not even thinking, I'm thinking some of you guys could be overworking yourselves on a project right now for work. Or I'm also feeling like you can be burdening yourself with a lot of thoughts and other people's issues and problems and you're just trying to find a solution and you could really be sinking and there's no one there to save you. So it's time for you to let other people's problems be their problems. I feel like Capricorn, they're telling you right now that it's time for you to go into the selfish mode. You've been selfless long enough. It's time for you to go into your selfish mode. Okay. Your second card says, unstoppable. You are limitless. You can handle anything. Don't underestimate yourself. You have many unique talents, okay? They don't want you to give up on yourself. They don't want you to drown, okay? They want you to know that you can handle anything. Don't think just because you have to be selfish means that you can't handle or you couldn't help people come up with solutions doesn't mean that you can't handle things. No, you are limitless. You can handle everything, but it's time for you to be selfish and make sure that you can float to the next part of life that you're supposed to be getting to. Okay. You also have, maybe it's just a story you're telling yourself. Notice what you say to yourself and others. You have the power to change the story. And that just gives me that you guys need to watch out for what you're speaking. Okay. Because the tongue is a very, very powerful thing. All right. So now we're going to go into this message from my Capricorns. Okay. And we will not be reading reversals today. I'm just going to read whatever the energy is that I get from the cards. I'm not going to put them out as reversals. cards is flying everywhere. There goes that five of wands. That five of wands was one to pop out on everybody's reading the other day. That's crazy. Five of wands is popping out so far. It popped out in Scorpio's reading as well. So let's see. As well, did the six of wands. All right, Capricorn. All right, so in your first place, you have things to focus on. You have the Ten of Pentacles. And I feel like that is finding yourself, okay? Finding yourself, I feel like it's been lost because you might have been giving yourself too much to your family, or too much to your person, or too much to your children that you have lost your identity. You are in a place where there is no balance, okay? Um, just an example, it's just like it could be a mother who... You know, she's the she's the baker at work. She comes home, she's the mother. She's the teacher. She makes sure the homework's done. She's the maid. She has to clean up. She's the wife. She has to cater to her husband. She's everything. And sometimes you lose track of what it is that you want. You know, the foundation that you're building for yourself. I know the Ten of Pentacles can be a card of family and home. But honestly, I feel like Capricorn, they're saying that you have given so much to your family or to those who are like family family to you that you have lost your sight of yourself so they want you to focus on getting that stability or getting that balance back with one with self okay focusing in on yourself finding yourself okay you're searching for who you are what it is that you want what it is that you desire and things like that going back into that root chakra and doing those childish things or going back into the things that you desire and you love or the things it's kind of like a six of cups uh things that you dwelled on back in the day that you might have wanted or the things that you wanted in life that you might have paused because you now have have a family. It's time to push play and get back into the groove of doing what you want and, you know, accessing your goals, okay? In the position of what not to focus on, we do have the King of Swords here. And I'm sorry to say it, but Capricorn is telling me, stop trying to be a know-it-all. Stop trying to be the person 
who has all the answers. They're telling you to release it, okay? You don't have to be everywhere. You don't have to be super save -a You don't have to be the person to communicate everything or try to get everything together or try to think of the conclusions, okay? And it's like you're doing it all by yourself while everybody is just in the background waiting for you to come in with a solution. You don't have to be the knowing all, seeing all, communicating all person, okay? Let that go this week. Give yourself a break, okay? Give your mind a break. And possible outcomes here that I have for you guys is the five of wands. And that to me is just like the five of wands is really not like the best card to have a possible positive outcome in. But what I feel like is this crash that's going to come with this five of wands. I just feel like this is going to be like an energy burnout. This burnout that you're going to drive yourself into is going to allow you to finally have some time for self. So you guys could actually become sick this week or it's like you're being forced into a vacation or something of that nature, which is going to make you be still and just chill the fuck out, basically. OK, and the position of obstacles, you have the hair fit here. So there could be some relationship issues here, okay? It's hard for you guys to see eye to eye, to connect. Um, there could also be some issues with somebody that you might look up to, which is like a leadership position, your boss, uh, parents, uh, your spouse, or whoever it is that you confide in, that you kind of look up to. There could be issues here. Um, somebody could be having issues with finances with their spouse, or it's just like some familial issues here with communication or dealings with one another. Um, I do see that thing going on. I just feel like somebody could be begging. Um, in your blessings position, you have the five of pentacles. And I feel like that's you being able to be alone and spend time with yourself. I know the five of pentacles is usually a card of scarcity, of trying to find or, you know, dwelling in sadness or whatever, depression or, you know, looking for somebody to save you. But I honestly feel like this is a sigh of relief of you finally being alone, being able to be with your own thoughts, meditate. And, you know, it's kind of like I locked myself in this room uh, type of vibe of what is giving me Capricorn this week. So it's just really giving me with this night of King of Swords, it's like you taking time to breathe and kind of finding finding clarity uh, within yourself. I feel like you could just be overwhelmed where you're not even thinking correctly right now. And the position of whew, advice, you have the Six of Wands, okay? So it's just like, you know, you don't always have to be front and center. Is what it's giving me. You don't always have to be front and center. You don't always have to work this hard to where you put yourself into a burnout, okay? You don't have to be the person that everybody looks towards. And that is what I have for you, okay? With this justice card at the bottom of the deck, I'm going to pull this out for you guys. It's just giving me the vibe of you guys needing to realize and make those decisions of when you need to choose self. All right, Capricorn? So that's what I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be posting your love readings later on this week. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you have a wonderful day.